Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Being a police officer in Las Vegas is a real interesting okay. job because it's such a transient town people from South America and people from Canada here and it's just a it's a pretty cool place to work I like to I like to be around different types of people and, and this is ideal for that sort of thing right now we're going to some kind of battery call where somebody's getting beaten up down at the corner I'm not sure details of the call hasn't come out yet, but uh, it's just right around the corner, so she's, the dispatch has sent us to it. This is a clerk, black male, light complexion, 25, 5'8", slim, wearing a green shirt and a grayish black pants, leaves us. She caught him in a 414 last week and it's retaliation. Uh, medicals in route, our victim's uh, pregnant. He got mad because he got caught stealing, so he went back and beat up the clerk who caught him stealing. Can you be in route to Tom 336? We're going to go over here to the store and talk to the victim. And hopefully she'll prosecute. I'm sure she will. We're going to just make sure she's OK. I caught him stealing about two weeks ago. And, uh -huh. I, and I came outside and I told him, hey, you got to put the 12 pack back. You can't steal. And he just walked away, right? Uh -huh. So then he comes in a couple of days later and he tells, he's going to walk in and like use our restroom and get a refill and stuff. And I told him, no, get the hell out of here. You shoplifted, you're a thief, don't come in here anymore. Right. He goes, I'm going to get you. He starts calling me names, fat bitch, and all this other stuff. And, and I. I, well, I called him some names back and told him to get out. Sure. You know? And then he comes in today and he walks around the back of the register. And I told him, hey, you can't come in here. Get out because he had a refill cup. I thought he was going to come and try and get a refill. And he threw, like, hot water on me. It wasn't that hot. I mean, I take sh hotter showers. Right. And th but then he jumped up in the booth where I was. And he's, like, right under the camera, too. And he, and he started hitting me. All I did was I protected my baby. I just went right. over and protected my baby. Do you baby guys have video surveillance camera. of all that? Color videos. OK. Is the manager and on the way in for that? Yeah, he should be here any time now. Okay. Did he come in and ask for anything? Yeah. No, he just came in and threw hot water on me and... and Where'd he get the water from? He got it from our bathroom. Okay. Somebody had been using the bathroom and handed him over the key before, you know, before... Are you sure that it's water? Yeah. Smell it. It's water. Okay. I, I was just making sure it wasn't urine. Um, well, that's the guy that they have in custody that's over there? The guy. Okay, good. They're bringing him over and we'll get your statements and stuff and... Be real detailed on that, especially the stuff before that happened, and then especially him saying when he said he's going to come back and get you, bitch. Okay. All that stuff is That's real important. That's videotape. I even wrote down the time that he came in and put it on videotape for my boss. Good. Um, I came in. I grabbed the key to go to the bathroom. I used the restroom. I came back. She turned around and told me, you can't be in here, blah, blah, blah. You... Why was she saying that? She yeah. talking about, I seen you steal a 12-pack, et cetera. Uh-huh. Um, did you try to steal a 12 pack? No. Okay. no did, I did you not. bring one up to the counter? You're going to buy one and she just started? No. Okay. No. No, I didn't bring no 12 pack to the counter. Okay. Um, so I started calling her bitches and et cetera. Right. Um, after I told, after she was like, oh, well, f you. She flipped me off. I told her, I'm going to get you. Okay. I came in today. Um, I threw water on her face and I tried yes. to slap the f out of her. When you came in today, you knew she was going to be working? No, I did not. 
No, I did not. I just I got off work. I just got off work. Where do you work at? Um, I do construction. Okay. Now, just because somebody calls you names doesn't mean you can raise your hand to them. Right. Okay, that's not right. That's wrong. That's not how society's supposed to be, that's okay? okay? And because that's what happened, that's why you're going to jail. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. All right. Watch your head. Did you know she's pregnant? No. Would that have changed your mind about you going in there and trying to knock a block off? Yeah. You think so? Okay. Well, she is. Think about that for a minute, okay? This tape that we're watching now is uh, when he first made the initial threat against her on uh, June the 3rd at about 4.30. Three days ago. Yeah, three days ago. So in this tape, he'll show him he'll come in and he'll use the bathroom key first, and then he'll come back later, and that's when the confrontation takes place. It's coming up pretty soon. Okay, this is him. He's returning the bathroom key. Okay. At first he said, you better watch yourself, and she said, what are you going to do? And then he sort of lunged through the door, and as he was leaving, he says, you better watch your back. If you listen okay. really carefully. Okay. Does he come back in? He couldn't really hear that. He says, you better watch your back. We have him three days ago coming into the store. She tells him, no, you can't come back because you tried to steal a 12-pack. That's right. And um, he denies doing that, but that's irregardless. He came back three days ago and said, um, you know, use the restroom key. She says, I don't want you in here. You tried to steal a 12-pack. And there was some words were exchanged. Here she is sitting up here. We have bought audio, too. Okay, that's that guy leaving. Yes, yeah, so that's right after this guy leaves. Okay, why don't we ri rewind it and watch that um, number three again, real close, okay. if we can. This lady's just doing her job, just yeah. working behind the counter. And so he came in intentionally with that. Yeah, he came in to do that, right. which is why we're going to be able to prove that he came in with the intention of hurting her and, and starting trouble with her, which is why we're going to get a felony on. OK, then that's her calling us. And about 10 minutes later, we have him in custody. Excellent job. Here we go. Caught on tape, and he's off to county jail, burglary and battery. I've been a policeman for about 10 years, but I've been with North Las Vegas coming up on three years. In fact, my partner and I, we've been teamed up for about five months together now. So uh, we know each other pretty well, and I think we work together real well. Wayne's a hard worker, and he likes to get after it, and that's excellent. The one subject on the roof screaming for a 451. Okay, what we're going to now is we have either a mental subject or a subject high on uh, narcotics. He's standing up on top of a roof screaming for more drugs. Apparently, this guy is, is right now being fairly violent about being taken off this roof or even coming down. Hang on. Okay, we're going to have to come to a stop here. Yep. Are we over there? They're stopped. You're good. Not a problem. Get an eyeball for him. Where do you have? I'm looking. I can't find which side. We're obviously yeah, I don't know where to We're going to be on this side of the street. Let's go around these cars. Yeah, OK, they're there, right there. There he is. Oh, son of a gun. There he is. Yep. Hey, what do you need, Jim? You got it. Davey, which side do you want me to take? They're going to fix you up, guy, but you got to come down. Scott. Hi, don't. 
done nothing. Well, nobody said you have. Hey, Scott. Dwayne. Didn't you promise Dwayne. me to come down here? Oh, <laughs> real news trip. You, but you gotta come down. I want a shot of heroin. All right, come down. I can't give yeah. it to you up there. That I'm not sure of. But we can't leave you sitting on somebody's house. No. Do you live here? <laughs> I can promise you that nobody's going to hurt you. Cool. I can't. Hey, Scott, we get hurt. Come we on. Got the ambulance out here. We'll take you out and get some help. How's that sound? Scott. Come on, Scott. The easiest way to do it is just to come down off that house. All right? Yeah, we got ladders. And I wanted to go right here with the ladder. Okay. I can get up on the roof from the front brick wall. If he sees you guys, he's going to attract his, his attention towards you. Do you want yeah. me? Then I can come from the other side. But we, want to go up we all need to get up there together and then okay. just basically move real quietly because he's on. He's probably four, five, one heroin, and we know what that is. Okay. And beanbags. Just be careful be so we don't tumble off the roof. Just yeah. get, let's see if we can get a ladder back here first. Okay, if he starts to come down, let's back off a little bit so he doesn't feel like he's getting choked out. Here's the ladder. Can you come on over? Can you keep your hands out of your pants, Scott? I want to get heroin. Scott, we got the ambulance here to help you. All right? You need some help getting down? Scott! You're not paying attention. Wait. Hurry up, he's gonna grab a hypodermic. Just wait till we're all three up there. There he goes, he's running. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Coming to you. There okay, we got it. Good. Stand by control. Okay, hold on. Okay. I got it. You're doing well, you're doing fine. Relax. Relax. Easy. Easy now. Relax. You didn't do nothing. You're no, you okay. didn't do anything. We're getting you some We're help, get okay? You some help, all right? Here's Bob, another relax. leg strap. Sorry. I don't we think he's... Enough hands up here. Okay. Alex, could you get me some tape? Trauma tape? Keep him off. The relax, guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's probably hotter Let's go. than daylight. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, I checked his britches as best I could, even in the cross. It doesn't look like he's got nothing. There. Okay, <laughs> tell us again. Tell this man what you had all today so they know what you're doing. And what else? Crack. Okay. How long ago? Early today, just a little while ago, I was going for behind there, not to charge him. I saw Davey sneaking up. I said, we got him now. We got him. That's why I stayed right there. He was focused on you, and we I talked to him. you were watching me, and you just kept talking, and I was like, cool. Okay, when as soon as I saw your head, I knew we got him. All right, what we're going to do is we'll slide him down the ladder. You guys take one on each end. Okay. Me and David take this end. We'll take him over there, set him on the ladder. Okay. I didn't do anything. Okay, let's go down towards the roof line. Probably Dwayne. What? They said, who's the strongest one? Probably you. Just hang on, okay? Just hang on, buddy. I'm not gonna let no, nothing happen. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Good. We got him. We're gonna lower you down Watch to the fire. Watch his hands on the Pick side. Your Pick up. your hands up. Yeah, look at yeah, I got that one. Maybe you got that next one? Go ahead. Let's go. Watch his arm. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Got the next one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Alright. You guys got him? Yeah, we got him. Okay. Okay, we'll get him down. The feet need to go that way. Boy, I could have like three ways. Clear. One of you guys on each belt? Let's pick up his goodies. Okay. How old are you, Scott? 31. 31? What's your birthday? 7765. Yeah, I know his bottom of his feet are like burned off. Nothing, I don't think I. Yeah, his feet have got to be fried. Just with the belt around. Yeah, probably we can't let him like tumble off the roof either. No. So we got to do Irene, something. Good job, Irene. The negotiator extraordinaire. Good girl. 
I can't believe you stayed calm that long. I'm teasing you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on one like that. Me either. I've never had a guy just... Guy stuck up on the roof. That's another one for the books, I guess. Yeah. The representative was making a slot machine repair in the 1700 block of North Rancho. As he was leaving the business, he was hit in the head and forced into the company van. Suspects then drove to an unlo unknown location in the area of Lake Mead and Comstock. Suspects then removed the cash from the van and fled in an unknown direction. Suspects in this robbery are described as black males. One is 5'10", 210, wearing a gray shirt. The second suspect is described as a black male, 6'1", 170, wearing a white t-shirt and brown pants. Okay. All right, that's fine. You take this one. All right, let's go to work. Figure it out. You got the book, right? I feel as far as uh, our job goes, uh, and my philosophy as far as dealing with people is just uh, uh, respect them or give them the kind of respect that they're giving you. And uh, I think if you usually keep that in mind, uh, you keep yourself pretty much straight and out of trouble and uh, deal appropriately with each individual. Um, you know, dealing with people on this job is something you do every day, and uh, you need to be able to do that effectively to uh, get the job done as far as I'm concerned and do it, uh, do it the right way and uh, be good at it and have a good time doing it. Go All right, we're going to uh, back officer with him. He's got a car failing to stop, uh, possible stolen vehicle. He's one street east of us. We're going to see if we can't catch up to him and uh, see if we can assist. Big bumps. Go three, Louis 21. We have air unit K9. Big bump. <laughs> okay. Hit by another cop. They're stopping. There he goes. He's running northbound through the park. I'm going to go back this way. Shane, okay. Just ran on to I-15. Jackson, I-15. There he goes. Okay, we're gonna go down on I-15. He's going to that unit on Adams. There we go. I'll tell you what, we're gonna head up this way. Running up on the A. Curb. What it is is uh, Officer Witham went out to, to stop this car, took off uh, subject, or the car was failed to stop, basically in a passenger bailed out and ran. And that's what we're uh, trying to catch now. It looks like they got him in custody. Okay, so three, three yellow, that's negative. Uh, he's in custody. The other two are in the vehicle still uh, standing by. Good job, buddy. Let's get him off. Good job. Stand up. Hi, right, here's good. We got it. Relax. Yeah, he was going south, that's why I told you to go south, because I thought you, he's here, we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> he's in custody. Good jump, though. You understand what your rights are? Yeah. Okay, you have a right to remain silent, anything you say can will be against in court of law. You have a right to speak with an attorney, have an attorney present with you during any and all questioning, you understand that? What'd you just get out? For what? Attempt robbery? Was that what you finally went for, or was that the initial charge? Stay on the car, young man. No. Throw up over there, not on the car. That's why you shouldn't run from the police, man. Let's go. Stand up, man. Walk.
Say still might have to puke. Well, don't puke. It's a sergeant's car. You don't want to puke in the sergeant's car, dude. You get very, very much in trouble. Is it? Cool. It's a stolen vehicle, so that's cool. You want his shoes? No. Well, somebody better. <laughs> They're yours. You're the bike guys. <laughs> What did you stop him for? You saw him. I saw you coming down the street, yeah, and I saw were, he wasn't stopping. Well, they were acting suspicious back in that alley. There's a goat yeah, house there, a, right? And uh, they just stopped and uh, kept looking at us. We just came around the corner, turned around to to uh, see what they what they were going to do. They just remained and stayed there. So they came, finally came on out and uh, accelerated on the turn. Try to get it around the corner before we can do the U-turn on it. And he accelerated down there. I turned on my lights, sorry, and he failed to stop. That's when we saw you. Yeah, when right there, right here. Uh, it wasn't until after the vehicle had stopped and the passenger got out and ran uh, that they ascertained that the vehicle was, in fact, a stolen vehicle. Um, the suspect that ran uh, was apprehended. And uh, he <laughs> picked the wrong officer to run from. Uh, officer Withams, one of our quicker guys up here, and he's really uh, tenacious. Once he starts after you, he's not going to let you go. So everybody's where they're supposed to be in jail, and everybody else is going home. So good caper. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Get into 2514. Can transmit on tech two. Okay, we'll still send a code three.